What's going on guys? How you guys doing? It's Uncle Muscles. Today I have a new video on how to increase your FPS in uh, Gundam Evolution, aka Overwatch 2, aka Overwatch 3, aka the new Overwatch. Um, it's actually pretty easy if you do a couple things. I got like three things I can show you how to how to increase the FPS. It should It should help out. Now the only problem is that the way I do it is going to be a little bit different from the way that you do it, and the way I'm going to show it to you is going to be a little bit different from the way that you're going to be able to do it also because I'm using a streaming card, and I'm splitting my display over the graphics card, and uh, because of that, it's just it's going to look a little different for you guys. So I'm, I'm going to explain it as I'm doing it. Like I said, it's going to look a little different. First, I want to also ask you guys, if you don't mind, hit the like button, and also check me out, twitch.tv slash Muscles. Uh, and check me out, follow me over there. I'll be playing the game, and I can answer any questions if you guys have. Um, okay, so first, what you want to do, right? You want to right-click your desktop. If you have NVIDIA, if you're AMD, you're going to be using the FSR. It's going to be a similar process. Um, I don't have the AMD software on this computer, so it is possible with AMD. It's also possible with Intel. I have some other videos. If you look in the comment descriptions, they'll they'll show you that. I'm sure you can just Google it too, but I haven't seen anything on, on uh, Gundam Evolution yet, and it seems to be a little bit more difficult than the ones in the past. So, NVIDIA Control Panel. NVIDIA. 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 NVIDIA Control Panel. Open that up. <clears throat> We're going to use image scaling. By the way, guys, I'm also a little sick. Sorry if I start coughing in the microphone. I do apologize. I already have image scaling set up. If you don't have it set up, you may need to restart your computer. It's pretty easy. Um... Let me just show you also what I'm doing that's a little bit different for you guys. Uh, I'm running my entire computer right now in 720p. Why? The streaming card I'm using is also in 720p. Um, and I think that makes a difference. I'm not 100% sure. I'm currently trying to raise some cash on the stream to increase or to get a better uh, streaming card. We're going to see if that makes a difference. I'm not really sure if it does, to be honest. I need that in a new GPU. So that's the reason why I'm trying to figure out why we can get more FPS and the reason why it's such a pain in the ass. Anyway, so uh, manage 3D settings, image scaling. You want to turn this on, you're going to probably have to restart your computer. Uh, make sure that your uh, resolution, when you change resolution here, uh, like right now, I'm using PC 240 hertz. If you're using HD and you have 120 hertz monitor or something like that, that's fine. Uh, I use the PC setting just because I'm actually using a 240 hertz monitor. So I have to make sure that my computer is actually running at the proper resolution before I do this. We're going to be running the game in full screen application. You guys are going to be probably running this just in full screen mode. And I'm going to show you why there's a difference once we get into the application. But I'm currently running this computer at 720p. You could actually do it this way. Um, you'll see uh, 1280 by 720 PC, uh, 67%. So it's actually already, I'm running my entire desktop with image scaling right now. This is actually a faster way to run your entire computer if you are running on a limited GPU as am I. I'm running on a GT 1030 currently. It's not a very strong GPU. I can't even stream off it. It's a GT, not a GTX. So that's why I'm using an external G uh, streaming card running at 720p. And we're trying to get as max or as, as uh, many FPS as possible out of Gundam Evolution. So I'm running the entire computer in 720p. For you, this won't be the case. You're most likely to be running it at 1080p and then you're gonna be doing the image scaling within the application. But that's the major difference that's happening with me and you guys, for the most part. Um, okay, so we need to make sure, once you go into the NVIDIA control panel, manage 3D settings, image scaling on, you probably restarted your computer already after you turn it on. Once you look into these settings, what are we doing here? I turn on 100%, why? Because uh, the sharpening of image scaling seems to help with the A, aim. Uh, it seems to aid my aim. Now, you can put it on zero. It's going to look better. I'll show you. I want to show you really quickly why it looks better. We can just scroll down right now. If you look at Amaranth's face right now, it doesn't look incredibly pleasing. Why is that? It's because we've sharpened the hell out of her face. Um, all of the uh, color information gets changed. Now, if I put this onto image scaling 0%, it would look much normal, much more normal, I should say. It, you would see Amaranth's face just normally how it looks, even though it's on 720p being stretched out to 1080p and then being reduced back down to 720p, something, some order of operations like that. It would look a lot more normal, but that's okay because when we're playing the application, in my opinion, this is going to be subjective. It doesn't really matter. You can mess with this part. 100% seems to be the best, at least for FPS. You want to hit okay here. Bam. Excellent. Cool. Let's open up, and you've restarted your computer. Let's open up Gundam Evolution. Now, this takes a hot second. Now, there's a third process here you can see in the background here. That's that's the main thing. You want to turn on NIS, NVIDIA Image Scaling. That's going to be the best way to increase your FPS. Now, the other thing you can do 
is also change the priority of the process. Uh, I've increased the process the process to three. For some reason, it just defaults as normal. And when you try to change this in the task manager, it says something like, uh, you need administrative uh, access to change it. Um, even when you run it as administrator, I didn't try running. There might be a couple different ways to get around that. I don't know. I just found that this is the easiest way. It's also automatic. Whenever you turn on the application, it automatically switches it to high. You don't have to go to the task manager every time. This is going to help you especially specifically if you're doing what I'm doing. Um, but also, I think the application does not run in high process, even in full screen mode. Normally, when you run an application in full screen mode, it's supposed to put it as a high priority process. Now, with this game, I don't think it's the case. Keep in mind here, we're running the game currently at 720 FPS, or sorry, 720p. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, compared to what it looks like at 1080p for my graphics card, it looks relatively similar. Now, this is just the video. I just skipped it a little bit, but that's okay. That video is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Um, you can see... Um, oops. I have my headphones in, but my speakers are not. You can see that there's some sharpening here. It doesn't look amazing. The edges have like extra lines on them a little bit. There's a couple different problems with it. There's some like trails that occur. It doesn't look the best, but for the FPS and what you're trying to achieve in game, it's fine. Now let me show you what it looks like in the settings. Like I said, for example, I'm running in a borderless window. You guys will not be doing that. You will actually be running this in full screen. Now, because, like I said, I'm splitting my GPU here, it looks a little bit different as far as the settings goes. But overall, the quality of the picture is going to look pretty much identical to me if you're doing what I'm doing for the settings here. And this is how you get the max FPS. So I'm running in borderless window. You can run it in full screen if you're not splitting or cloning your image out of NVIDIA control panel. Like I said, I'm, I'm mirroring display out of my display port, so that's why I'm running borderless window. I tried to explain that in the beginning. What you want to do is run it in full screen. Full screen end. Now this part, once again, is going to be somewhat subjective. I'm running it 1280p by 720. I think, I think, if I run my entire desktop, I think the lowest you can go is 563. It's like 1024 by 563. I think that's the lowest that Windows will accept. If I wanted to, I think that's like what, 53%? It's not It's not 50%, it's like 50 something percent, maybe 60%. I think we're at like 63%. You actually saw the actual percentage in that in that in uh, in the resolution window for NVIDIA control panel. So this is actually playing the game at like 67 or 63, whatever, whatever, whatever the percentage is. This is playing the game at a reduced resolution. Now, on top of that, once we scroll down, I'm going to show you other settings I use also to reduce, to, to reduce the, uh, the workload on the GPU. But like, for example, render scale 50%. We're already running the game at 50%. So we're running at a 67% of a 50% of, uh, 50 of 720 or sorry, we're, we're running at, yeah, exactly, 50% of 720, and then that's getting upscaled to 1080p. So it's still, we're really, it's really stretching the the amount of uh, FPS you can get out of the game, but it really does help overall, and I'll show you in the training grounds. So what you want to do, like I said, make this full screen, make this uh, 1280 by 720, make sure NIS is on. Uh, and like, you can actually up this if you want, you can, there's a couple other options. If I change the full screen, this is going to make everything freeze. I really don't want to do that. Um, if you go into full screen, let's just do it without. Yeah. If you go into full screen, this is actually going to ruin everything. I think you can see all the other options. We're good for now. Uh, these will redone or one at reduced resolutions. If you want, these things also seem to be somewhat fixed to your monitor's resolution, your, your aspect ratio, and it's generated by the game. I've tried to make, uh, special resolutions, which usually works, especially for uh, win uh, borderless window uh, in games. But for this one, it doesn't. So it seems to be generated by the game. I'm not exactly sure. There might be some config file that you can edit somewhere down the line there. Um, but doing this process, you don't really need to do any of those resolutions. You can just put your monitor at the actual resolution you need if you want to do a borderless style, which is what I'm doing. Um, but most people aren't going to want to do that. They're really just going to want to run full screen, probably at 1280p by 720. Or... 
it depends. I mean, like, if you're running a GT 1030 like me, go for it, guys. I mean, really, just reduce it. I mean, you can go up to 1366 by 760. I think that's, I think that's 16 by 9. You're just looking for 16 by 9 by 9 resolutions. Maybe I'll put a link in the description below uh, for some extra 16 by 9 resolutions. But that's what you're looking for, all right? That's the NIS part of it. You want to just make sure that you have your resolution at uh, 1280p by 720, and you want it in full screen. When you're running applications in full screen with NIS, it should automatically kick in. If you're splitting or cloning the display, you might want to try borderless window, which is what I'm doing. Now, that's going to restrict your application to the actual uh, resolution of the monitor itself. So you're going to want to go back into NVIDIA control panel and change the output resolution of your, of your entire monitor. So for my case, we are running at 720p. And so there's already a 67% NIS image scaling being generated through the NVIDIA software. Now, on top of that, like I said, we're going to actually do some settings within the game as well. I do Field of View 103. This actually increases the amount of, F, uh, the, the amount of workload on the card. You can reduce this all the way down to 70 if you want. Now, I like 103. Why do I like 103? Well, I love Overwatch, and it's one-to-one -one with Overwatch when you do 103, so I'm used to that, and I will stick to that because I love Overwatch. I'm an Overwatch player, and RIP Overwatch, RIP Overwatch 2, that game's dead before it even got released. Um, you also want to change your highest frame rate. Uh, I put mine at 120. If they had a 240 option, I would do that, but they do not, so 120 it is. Um, this game seems to be made for console specifically. Hopefully they add more uh, Windows settings or Windows specific settings or PC specific settings, I should say, in the future. Highest frame rate not being capped would be nice. Unlimited would be nice, but I don't think that's an option they want for uh, your Xbox 360 or whatever you're playing on. Uh, V-Sync I have off always. Uh, in general, <clears throat> I put everything on low or off always if you can. Put everything on low or off. Uh, that's going to help the most. Um, render scale 50. It looks like dog ass, but in reality, I mean, what are you doing here, guys? Are you playing on a GT 1030 like me? Are you trying to get some headshots, or are you trying to look at pretty pictures all day? Because it's one or the other, guys, all right? You want to be a winner? Go to 50%. Okay, guys, that's how it works. You want that crispy, you want that crispy frame at 28 FPS? Because Gundam Evolution has horrible optimization then have fun. Have fun with your 150% resolution. I don't even know if it goes up to 150. Have fun with your 100% resolution. It's too much. It's too strenuous on the card. I can't deal with it. Everything else, post-processing low, texture filtering low, shadows low, anti-aliasing low. Um, unfortunately, that's just the case. Uh, I'm not colorblind. I don't even know why this is up there. Oh, okay. Off. Did, was this on? I think this has been on the whole time. What the? Okay. We'll, we'll hit apply and off. I think that's been on. <laughs> Weeps. Weepsie daisy. Uh, anyway, and that's it. Those are the in-game settings you want to... There's not really a lot. Just turn down everything to low and put it at 50%. It's going to look a lot better. Um, the last thing, and this is actually probably the most complicated out of everything. Um, you want to go into your registry editor. Uh, we can actually just close out of this for now. Um this is the most complicated part of the whole process. And we're going to go into the registry editor and I'll show you why. You want to, and I'll put the, the, um, this in the description below. Computer, HK local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, image file execution options. And then this is where we get to the complicated part. You have to add these in there. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. You can import all of this information into a text file and then double click the text file and automatically activate. Or you can just manually put it in there. I decided to do it manually. Um, why? Because I'm just that type of guy. I like that hands-on feeling. Um, you want to you wanna navigate all the way down here. Let's just try to remember where this is mentally. Um, so you're going to go into your... Uh, it, you have to click the little arrow next to all this stuff. HQ Local Machine Software. Scroll all the way down. Then you want to go to Microsoft. Scroll all the way down. I think it's Windows NT, right? Bam. And then Windows NT, current version. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Image file execution options. And then we're adding this. So right here, you right click, you go new, and then you go to key, right? Now, how did we get this? Evo Game Steam uh, hyphen win64 hyphen shipping.exe. That's the name of the application. Um, when you go into task manager and you right click the details on it, it'll just show you the name of the executable file. That's what we're getting here. And then you just literally uh, new 
key and then you copy and paste that. Oops, sorry, you do that in this one. So you go new key, copy and paste the name of the thing. And we don't need that right now, so we can just delete that. Yes, I want to delete that. And I watch I end up deleting something like really important. Uh, okay, cool, excellent. Okay, cool. So uh, then you go in there, then you're going to right click that one and do new again, key, which is what I just did accidentally. Then you're going to type in perf options. Okay. Then under perf options, you're going to right click this thing and go hit new and then D word 32 bit value. You're going to type in CPU priority class. Okay. That's literally going into the task manager and changing the details here. We don't need that new, new key. You're going to modify binary data. Nope. Sorry. You're going to, sorry. You're going to mod hit modify. You can just type in three here, leave it at hexadecimal. That's going to change the value to three. Three is high priority. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I don't think there's an apply at that point. I think you're just done. So you're just going to go into, oh, I should have showed you how to go into register editor. By the way, if you don't know how to hit go into register editor, hit the Windows key, type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, registry editor, bam. That's it. Uh, Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how I get max FPS out of the game. Uh, and I'll just show you what that looks like. So when you run the game here, uh, Gundam Evolution. It's going to open up the launcher thing. Take your sweet ass time. Take your sweet ass time, everyone. I want to take your time for me, baby girl. You're taking your sweet ass time for me, baby girl. See, look, it looks... You can't really see it on the stream, but on my monitor, it looks like there's like a second layer of things. And a lot of times on like the 2D graphical menus, like anything with the GUI, um, you'll see some like weird shadowing effect. And that's just... That's basically what happened to Amarin's face there and... It just doesn't look amazing, okay? But you're not worried about the looks. You're worried about the frags because you're playing it on the cheap little laptop and you want to rank up. You want to play that Gundam Evolution after they just fix the matchmaking. That's what you're doing right now. I just realized, I don't think the audio is playing out of this. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. You don't need the audio here. Um, is it? Maybe it's just really low. Okay, so uh, press start button. We're going to tab out really quickly here because I just want to show you what it looks like. So when you go into task manager, right, and then details, and then if you're looking at priority, high, see, bam, that's what we just did there. We just made it high. You can't change that for some reason uh, when you're when you're doing At least I couldn't change it. I don't know why. Maybe it's the way it was installed or whatever I did, but I could not change that. Now, let me just show you what this all looks like in a game really quickly. We'll go to practice. It's not beautiful, but it works. It's not beautiful, but it works. Um, first of all, shout out to my streaming computer right now because normally I have to record these videos like 10 times because the audio cuts out. This one worked the best time, or be, uh, the first time. So, bam, good for me. All right, so this is how good it looks, guys. All right, okay, it's not amazing. But there we go. I'm glad he's dead now. Not amazing, but it works. I've got eyes on. I'm trying to hold down control and then open up the radial menu. It's not Found opening. Them. Anyway, you check on the top. Look, I'm getting 100, between 80 and 120 FPS. Ooh, that missed entirely. It's okay. Uh. It could be better, but I mean, like, it's better than 23 FPS that I normally get, so. <sighs> That's it, guys. Sorry, I'm playing on a really jank GPU, but if you're also like me, playing on the jank sauce GPU, there's ways to get more FPS. It's not going to look amazing. Um, it's going to look pretty bad, to be honest. But, I mean, at least you can play, at least you can play competitively, so. If you like the video, guys, hit the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. Um, definitely check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Um, hit the sub button. That really does help. I'll be doing more videos like this. I've been doing a lot of Chimera Land videos. That seems to be pretty dead at this point. We're going to hopefully come back to that game. We're going to circumvent back to that game at some point. But really, I think my focus is going to be on this, um, the Overwatch 
the the new Overwatch called Gundam Evolution. I do think that it is a good game. Um, it needs to be heavily optimized, but in reality, um, it's very fun. It has all the fun parts of Overwatch, uh, and not many of the bad. Like everybody gets to play Soldier and Mercy at the same time. You can revive everybody, and then you can shoot. It's pretty good. As far as far as like FPS goes, Gundam is good. I don't know why they don't have a crouch feature in the game, but other than that, other than that little tidbit. And then you can't scope while you're um while you're jumping. That that pisses me off. There's a glitch sometimes it works, but other than that, the game's all right. The game's all right. I'm looking to get a new GPU specifically for this game. I do enjoy it, so we'll see. We'll see. It's it's definitely a, a mobile or not a mobile game, a, a console game. And like the, the same thing that happened with Halo, like the game was made for console, not for PC. So we'll see how this all hashes out. I do like it, but it's, I mean, whether or not to play it that seriously or competitively is a whole other thing. I, I mean, I, I doubt the money is going to be behind it as far as the competitive scene goes. And then whether or not the development is going to be competitive to like a game like Overwatch 2, well, we'll definitely see about that. Only a few days left. Only a few days left. RIP Overwatch. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate you checking out my video. And like I said, don't forget, check me out. Twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. And like, follow, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Bye, guys. Love you.